Hello and welcome. My name is Willis McCrickard and I'm an associate at Excelsior Capital. Um, I oversee asset management here for our portfolio and I also assist with acquisitions and uh, investor relations. Uh, today we're going to talk about flex real estate and what exactly it is. So you probably have heard the term thrown around a lot, flex real estate space, and you probably wondered what it is. Uh, so typically, uh, these assets consist of single-story buildings. Um, they can be standalone or they can be in, in, in dense uh, industrial parks. Uh, usually, it's office up front and warehouse in the back. So think of it as a hybrid of the two asset classes, office and industrial. Um, you know, because of how unique this is, it, it tends to attract a wide variety of users, um, you know, such as construction groups, manufacturing companies, e-commerce groups, and even medical tenants, as well as many other uh, different types of, group of companies that come to these assets. Um, there are three, we, we have narrowed down uh, three big benefits of flex space. Um, the first being, uh, you know, one that's most relevant with, with what's going on right now in the world, uh, COVID resistance. Um, these buildings uh, do not share lobbies, they have no shared hallways, and they do not share bathrooms. Uh, each tenant has their own entrance and exit to their suite, therefore they're able to control who comes in and out of the building, allowing for the tenants to feel much safer um, during COVID and all this cr on all this uh, crazy times that, that we're in right now. Um, so because of this, this has allowed for businesses to actually stay open. Um, another great benefit is uh, customizable at low cost. Um, so these buildings have lower TI costs that range from five to twenty dollars where you know nice class A multi-tenant office buildings, the TIs can range from twenty to forty dollars. Uh, the leasing rates are also cheaper. Um, around 11 to 12 dollars and uh, here in Nashville whereas multi-tenant office uh, leasing rates can be from 29 to 30 dollars. Um, lastly, uh, one of the most important benefits that we think for uh, on the landlord side is the way typically uh, the way landlords typically structure their leases. So they're called triple net leases. Um, it allows for the landlord to pass through the majority of the expenses uh, through the tenant, meaning the landlord will not have to pay for taxes, insurance, uh, common area maintenance, uh, and other simple expenses. Uh, you know, think electricity, utility expenses. The landlord is not responsible for that. Um, you know, typically they just pay for leasing costs, uh, capital expenditures, and other large charges. They're responsible for the roof uh, and HVAC. Um, so there you go. There's there's a little summary on flex spaces. Um, thank you so much.